Hey guys, what it's up? Nico again here. In this video, I'm going to show you guys a review of the Azeron Gaming Keypad. It is a 3D printed gaming keypad from Azeron, and it is about, majority of it is 3D printed. Obviously, there's going to be parts that aren't, but we're just going to go through this. I'm going to give you guys a full and honest review. We're going to try it out with a full unboxing, me having been opening it yet. So, that's coming up for this video. All right, you guys, so you can buy your Azeron here at azeron.eu, where you guys can go here to your store and you can buy your gaming keypad. You could, you guys can actually even um, customize your gaming keypad to have the different colors on different parts of the keypad. Now, I made mine uh, red, white, and black just because I like those that color scheme. And so now uh, I ordered this a few months ago. And I just recently got it in the mail this week. So now let's open up this box and we're going to do a live sort of semi, a semi live unboxing of this thing. But before we start, I want to invite everybody to join me at NicoIndustriesMembership.com where you guys have access to over 800 plus premium, awesome, super cool cosplay and armor STL files, as well as statues, flexies, so on and so forth, all with limited downloads all with a commercial license and it's only 10 bucks a month. So the link for that is in the, is in the uh, description below. Make sure you guys join us and let's move on to the video. All right guys, so let's open this up and see what it looks like. So upon opening, okay, they have this nice quick guide here. It's in nice glossy paper. It's really, really high quality actually, where it teaches you, um, it looks like it teaches you how to download the software, um, you plug it in, it's got a lot of buttons and this is what it looks like or here's what it's supposed to look like, all right? So the packaging is really, really nice. So let's take this out of here, out of the box. Packaging is really, really nice. And let's see, you open it from the side here, okay? This is my first time opening it. I think it just tore the box. <laughs> All right, cool. And again, packaged really, really nicely. Okay, so this thing was a custom made one with the colors I believe that I want. All right, so open it up. See what it looks like here. What is in this little tiny box? This has the, what looks like the cable. Whoa, it looks like the USB cable. And uh, these look like the joystick uh, thumb things. And the thing that fell um, is the screwdriver for it. And, oh man, that is cool looking, you guys. Oh, that is pretty cool looking. Look at that. Wow. So, yes, the um, these finger pads are 3D printed. And so are these little parts right here. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see the quality on it, but they are 3D printed and they are high quality. It's done very, very nicely so far. And it has a nice, super satisfying click, all right? So on each button, holy cow, it has one, two, three, four, five, six for your index finger. Your pinky also has six, one, two, three, four, five, and six on the top. Now this thing can be adjusted to fit your hand, right? So it looks like you'll have to, um, Loosen up these screws so the thumb will come out this way. But yeah, it has a button here. I think this is a button as well. It goes around, and you have your thumbstick here. Holy cow! The, this has so many, so many buttons, you guys. And again, the fingers can spread out for it in case you want to be like this. It's super comfortable. The palm grip. Okay, so let's talk about the palm grip a little bit. The palm grip is 
it's so ergo actually it's super ergo and it's, it has a nice satisfying click to it it's just it's so nice and I believe these can also turn so you can make these uh, no it can't because it has that little thing there but you can even do that and the finger press is it's really light like I'm, I'm barely using any strength to, to press that button super 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 satisfying click as well um, for these it looks like again so you could loosen the screw and then you would tighten it once you're sorry you would loosen the screw and you would tighten it once the the finger position is is good and you would use the screwdriver I think I bought this um, and so you would tighten that up and then that's it so what I'm gonna do now is I am going to wow so the entire thing is 3d printed even this black part is 3D printed. The finger pads, these are 3D printed as well. This part is 3D printed. The base is metal, all right? So this part is metal. This is metal. The screws obviously are metal. Um, it looks like this part as well is 3D printed. I can see layer lines on there. Um, this part is 3D printed, okay? This white part is 3D printed. If I was to guess, right, if I was to guess, I would say about 70 to 80% of this thing is 3D printed, all right? So again, this is called the Azeron Gaming Keypad, okay? This is the Cyborg by Azeron. Um, this is not a sponsored video, by the way, you guys. I just bought one of these because I thought it was the coolest looking keypad. It's so cool. It's so badass looking, and it has so many freaking buttons. It's insane, all right? So... I use gaming keypads for my 3D modeling in Blender, and uh, that's what made me check this thing out. So, I'm going to now check this out and tell you guys how it goes. All right, guys, so what I have here is the Azron software. Um, it was actually pretty cool because I just plugged in my, uh, my gaming keypad onto my computer, and the software immediately... Um, recognized it and it brought me immediately to the profiles now on the side here there is a button that you can press to toggle between profile one and profile two so you can have essentially double the uh the amount of buttons okay uh the problem is i can't see i can't scroll while using the software which is kind of weird um all things considering okay so when I press a button, it corresponds to um, the, the button that is showing up here. So if I press the, my index finger um, here, it'll do that, right? And then this is for the, the keyboard joystick, which is actually is, is very, very smooth, surprisingly. It's surprisingly very, very smooth. And this right here, is the little um sec I, I would say this is a a thumb uh, a thumb button here another thumbstick if you will so let's see if we can bind these for 3d modeling for me so i would want to make this part here so let's see if i can click it and we i want to make this g for grab there you go and that's it. There's no save or nothing. All right. Let's make this a key bind for control R. Well, oh, not control R F. No, 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 no. That's clear. I want that to be just control R for my loop cuts. And maybe we can make this one bevel, which is, um, is it control B or control V? Let's just say control B for bevel. I'm pretty sure okay so this is G let's make this XYZ for the axes so let's make this X let's make this Y and let's make this Z so 
programming it is actually really, really, really easy. Okay. Um, and if you're not sure with what each button does, you can press the button and it'll highlight where it is. Okay. So this is X, Y, Z. This is control R, which is loop cut. This is G. Um, maybe this can be shift. And then, um, yeah, so I'm going to program these some more, but so far it looks pretty easy to, um, to program and you can add profiles here, obviously, um, for that. Now, I don't know if they have any turbo, but, um, that's for gaming right now. We're going to do it for, uh, 3d modeling purposes for what we have now is um okay so it works look at that it works x up oh, yep it does work so that's x it'll delete that x yep and let's go to tab oh tab i actually haven't programmed tab yet i actually have it the, the software open here so if i let's see that's that button that's that button. Let's make this tab. Okay, so when I go here, yep. And you can, the great part about this, you can program this on the fly, right? So I have the, the software here open and I can program it on the fly as I'm going. So, so far it's looking pretty darn good and I'm really, really liking it. Again, the buttons are, are, are super, they're super satisfying to click. It's got a nice sound to it. Um, so far, no problems. All right, guys. So all in all, what do I think of this thing? I actually really, really like it. Again, it's super satisfying for the clicks. It's built really well. It's pretty sturdy. The palm rest is very, very comfortable. The three printed parts are of high quality. It's It fits. It's super customizable for the hardware. Now, for the software, again, I'm also very, very impressed. It's easy to use, it's very intuitive, it's easy to navigate, it functions, it performs really, really well, and it does exactly what I'm asking it to do. So, and that's really all that we can really ask for, right? So, all in all, I'm giving this thing a solid 9 out of 10. If you guys want to try it out, I highly suggest you do. If it if it's something that you guys can use for gaming, if it's something you guys can use for 3D modeling, if it's something you guys can use just for your PC in general, for your for anything, I highly suggest it. So that is my review for this thing. Again, it's a 3D printed gaming keypad by Azeron. It's about $200, maybe almost three, depending on how you customize it. Okay, I'll catch you guys later.